the quiz one the quiz one what did i give you if you remember correctly initial velocity uh, t initial less is zero uh, v initial 12 meter per second is that right uh, t final one minute and v final is still 12 meter per second what did i ask you to do i ask you i gave you six grab acceleration versus time this is a vt this is speed versus time this is dt displacement versus time this is dt i ask you to draw the graph and write their equations i'm going to embed a student to draw the graph and write the equations before we do anything with that buggy we can see right here there's an i subscript what does i stand for in this what does I stand for? Initial. And what does initial mean? It means the beginning of something. Put down our direction. This creates our graph. One second. Right here, it says F. What does F stand for? Final. What does final mean? End. That means that this is the beginning and this is the end. So all you need to do is draw an arrow between where is the beginning and where is the end. Then what you have to do is compare it to your four cardinal directions. North, east, south, and west. Which one is it parallel to? Well, it looks like the direction from beginning to end is going west. Two, one, go. Now, since we're not accelerating, the beginning velocity and the end velocity are the exact same. We just write d is equal to v t. What's the velocity? 12. What's the amount of time? Well, it's one minute, which is 60 seconds. And you'll see the more complicated equation we use. d is equal to vit plus half a t squared just reduces to this if your v initial and v final are the same. So, this is the equation we use. And what's 12 times 60, by the way? That's 720. What? Oh, yeah. So, distance over time is equal to 12t. It is everything just by the equation itself. It looks nice. So, we stop at 720 and 60, and we draw that line right there. All right, and what about displacement? Well, it's going in the negative x direction instead. So, this is just displacement is equal to minus 12t, and we don't have to do any math. All right, great. And now we draw speed over time. So direction doesn't matter. And since the velocity is unchanging, we just write this. So this is the speed over time. And it stops at 12 and 60. So there it is. So the equation is just speed over time is 12. And here, same story. Uh, velocity over time is going to be negative 12 since we're going in the negative x direction. And acceleration over time, since we're traveling at a constant velocity, it's always zero and it's always zero. I'm going to give this second problem to Isaac is one minute. V final is 100 meter per second. Again, Isaac needs to draw 1, 2, time, velocity versus time, acceleration versus time, and acceleration versus time. Again, Isaac needs two points, at least two points to draw this graph. The same strategy, initial is the beginning. Final 
is the end. So we draw an arrow from the beginning to the end. And what direction does that correspond with? Let's draw our axes. Plus x, minus x, plus y, or minus y. It looks like it corresponds with minus x. So that's what we're going with. So to demonstrate acceleration, this one naturally goes as a, at a constant speed, as you can see. But what we can do is actually push it constantly so that it gains a higher speed over time. Looks like it's accelerating at a constant rate of 100 meters per second. We go from 0 to negative 100 within 60 seconds. So that's minus 100 over 60 meters per second per second which gives us minus 5 over 3 meters per second squared. So, it goes like that over here. So this is approximately minus 1.67. So, and here it does plus. 1.67 since we're taking the absolute value. Now the velocity is constantly increasing from a value of 0, 0, and since it's going into the negatives, to a value of 60, comma, minus 100. Like that. So we draw a line, but what's the slope of this line? Well, of course, it's just the acceleration, which is minus 5 over 3. So v of t is minus 5 over 3t. And, of course, the speed is just the magnitude of that, so it's going to be plus 5 over 3t. And displacement over time is going to actually be a quadratic curve. So it looks like... The initial distance or displacement is zero. But what's the final distance or displacement? Good question. So we're going to have to figure that out using the equation d is equal to vit plus half at squared. So this is just going to be vi is zero. So we can just eliminate that term. Half a, which is minus 5 over 3 t squared, which means our equation is minus 5 over 6 t squared, which looks a little something like this. So to even out over here. Yeah, so that's a good representation. But what's the end values? Of course, minus 5 over 6 t, t squared, sorry. So plugging in 60 over there, we get minus 5 over 6 times 3,600, which is, of course, just minus 3,000 meters. So 60 minus 3,000. All right. And finally, we have distance over time, which is just the absolute value of that. So, sorry, that's inaccurate. Okay, that's a better one. So this is 60, and this is plus 3,000. All right, so that's it. Equation for that one. Oh, it's just the positive version, which is 5 over 6 t squared. Is uh, on a one and a half hour long bike trip, and his position function is P of t is equal to 40 over 3 t squared. I'm going to just give you a diagram. Okay, it's everything moving to the west, T initial is 0, V initial is, of course, 0 mile per hour. And B initial is, uh, T final is uh, 3 over 2 hour, V final, Isaac need to find. D final, Isaac need to find, and Isaac main goal is to AD under ST graph, AD under VT graph. However, you need two point. One point is kind of given, right? 
other point is this one. He needs to shade. If he doesn't shade, then he gets zero point. Is equal to vit for half a t squared. And of course, vi is zero, but we don't know what a is. So we already know d is 40 over 3 t squared. So clearly, we can just cancel these out and multiply both sides by 2. to get that A is equal to 80 over 3 meters per second squared. All right, so we write that, and clearly we can only use this when the acceleration is constant. So acceleration final is going to have to be the same thing. Now we just figure out what D final is by plugging in 3 over 2 over here. So this gives us 40 over 3 times 9 over 4, which gives us 10 times 3, or 30. Oh, sorry, this isn't meters per second squared, it's miles per hour squared. So, V final is what? Well, it's just the acceleration times the amount of time, which was 3 over 2, making it 40 MPH. No, this ended at 40, and this also ended at 40. So the height of this triangle is 40, and the height of this triangle is 40. And the length is going to be 3 halves for both of them. So then we just use half pH. B is 3 over 2. H is 40 to get 30. Distance traveled of 30 miles, and this one has a displacement since they're the exact same of 30 miles.